Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, let's quickly go ahead and get started with our project and understand how you can create your first issue in your project and follow the issue along the process and what are details that you can enter into creating the issues, right? So let's go back to the project, right? And here, if we see that in the summary, if you go to summary or go to the list, so there are multiple options where you can create your first issue. You can either click on create your first issue here, click on create button here, or go to list in the list you will have options to add the issues directly right so from here you can just click on add item right so i can click on add item and start typing in the details of the issue and hit enter and the issue will be, will be created next thing i can go to the board and from the board i can click on create new issue right so if i click on create new issue i can start typing in and save it all right or i can click on this create your first item and what it will do is we cancel it if i click on create your first item it will directly open this particular option here i can click on create and this will open the create issue window for me right this screen will appear wherein i have option to configure the fields so at the moment all the fields are being selected i can select the custom fields which one i want to get displayed on this particular create issue screen as a user right so this option is available to any user in your project so they can select and deselect the fields that will be available there right so that's one of the option then if you go to the calendar there is an option to create the issue from the calendar as well so say for example on the calendar i want to create an issue for say for example just double click on the calendar it will open the details right create issue window and the due date accordingly will be selected wherever you will double click or whichever day you will double click on right so if i want to create an issue for the due date of thursday uh, which is 22nd of july i'll just double click on it or just single click is fine right so it's, it's single click or double click any of that works okay so that opens and you will see that due date is automatically populated right from the timeline as well you can create so it's that flexibility right so from timeline i can click on this add item and start adding the item there forms is a complete separate issue right but uh, com a complete separate section but these are some of the places so from summary list board calendar timeline or I can you know go to issues which is basically the filter um, that's that is the filter screen so here we don't have any default option to create issue let me check here uh, we can import issues from csv but not create we, we just can use this create button here but apart from that i think timeline calendar board list or summary go anywhere depending on which option you want more convenient go ahead and create it most of the time what the managers or the team manager usually does is so basically in the list they will create all the items that need to be tracked right so to create an item we can simply click on add item and i will name it as candidate hiring for test analyst role okay so once you have entered the the title for the issue right hit enter and you will see the issue has been created right and it's available in the list let me quickly copy the candidate hiring for let's say developer role and enter and i'll create a couple of issues there right so i'll say ba role and i will say test architect role okay so this is how you will basically create the list of issues from the list okay and you can do it from anywhere right from the board as well you will see that you can create directly from here and whatever issues that have created now are available in the list on the board on the calendar they won't be available because we haven't set any due date for them okay so now let's see what all can be done when we create these issues right so if we go to the list these are the issues that have been created and now in the column view you'll see that status the assignee you can assign these issues to any of the team member that will be working on these issues the due date right so, so for example this role needs to be filled by 22nd of july the other one is 29th the other one is 21st and then says for example another this again 22nd of july right and now let's say we change the priority here okay we are getting this error so this is definitely the configuration issue so field priority cannot be set so this looks like the field is not available on the screen right so uh, that how you can fix these sort of issues first thing you have to be the 
administrator right so in this case say for example you are getting these sort of errors let's see how you can quickly go ahead and fix it okay so we'll simply view the details and see whether this particular priority field is available there or not right so if you'll see there is no priority field available here and if we go to create using this option right so there is no priority field available here as well and that is why because priority field itself is not on this particular screen it is not allowing you to set it here because it is not on the screen so what we can do is we can basically go to the you can go to the project settings right and from the project settings we can go to the screens so you will see that these are the screens and these are the screens for the create edit and view okay so if we go to the edit screen it will open the details of the edit screen and here we do not have any priority field right so simply start typing in the priority okay and add the priority there if you want to move it up somewhere so after issue type we want to add priority there we will simply add the priority there okay so now this particular recruitment edit and view screen has the priority okay but the create won't still have the priority again okay so let's see now we go back okay close it and try to edit this particular edit or view right so now you can see the priority is there on the edit screen okay and now if we try to change the priority from here you will see the priority is getting updated right because it's part of the view and edit screen now if i go to create now you won't still see the priority field here because in the create issue screen we haven't added that priority okay so if you want to add that you have to have the project admin settings uh, project admin rights go to project admin right the cog wheel and go to the screens and on this particular project screen so create issue so we have added it in the view and edit issue so it's already there in the create issue as well you can click on the create issue screen and add the priority field simply search for the priority and add it there okay if you want to move it up simply drag and drop and it will be available after the attachment okay so let's go back and see that this is working as expected so this has been done let's go to the recruitment project again and click on create now and now you will see priority is available okay so this is how you can configure the fields if field is not visible you are getting any sort of errors this is how you will basically troubleshoot those okay now once you have created once we have created these issues right so we were on the list now we can set the priority we have changed the priority we can set the labels so labels what are labels so labels are the quick sort of tagging right so say for example i want to tag all my candidates that i'm hiring for testing department with the label as testing right so i can just create a label testing there okay and if the testing label is not there you can just click on new label and a new label will get created and because this candidate is being hired for the testing role we can tag all the testing related role with the labels testing right and any anyone with the ba we can create a label ba and anyone with the developer role we can add the label developer there what is the benefit of adding the labels it helps you to quickly find the issues with the labels right so say for example i want to find the issues or find the applications or the candidate hiring applications that are for the testing department i can simply filter by labels testing and it will filter all the issues by that particular label okay and now you have the created and updated here so all that is displayed i can configure the display display of the columns here so i can check and uncheck the display here from this particular plus icon and if i say for example do not want to have this created and updated i can uncheck that but i want to have this hiring manager and hiring department being displayed then i can check that and hiring department manager will be displayed here okay now if we go to this view details of this issue let's understand some of the important information on this particular issue so here we you can provide all the description and save the description you can add attachments links etc who is the hiring manager provide the details for that department role start date etc and and then there are two more fields so the estimate if how much estimate it is and then time tracking who is spending time on it if they want to log the time the amount of time they have to spend on this particular application working on it they can log the time there okay so this is a brief about how you can create the issues in any business project with jira work management 
right which is which was previously jira core and then use it for your business projects and add a lot of value and streamlining for the business projects in your organization so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching